I'm trying to hit water speed. And that butterfly nearly got mullered then. All round we go. All the way round. Look at that. That is sweet, sweet mama. But yeah, so I'll have some more meter footage later, but it is working pretty well at the moment. It's the first time really with the 28 to 20 gear ratio. So I'll be putting a longer video up later, but so far so good. And it should be getting windy later. Peace. Greetings YouTube. I've decided to add another battery. I've removed this because obviously it won't work with three batteries. The rectifier is now converting the AC from the turbine there to the DC. And then we just have very simply three batteries connected. And we also have the dump load connected still. So when we decide, we can start sucking energy out the batteries and they'll go into these two dump loads, which I've connected up to this little metal thing. Uh, I've got a switch for the dump load here. So you'll see when I turn it on, a little bit small amount of draw, even though it's on zero. So let's go and take the brake off and it could go very ballistic. And the whole point really is to see if it'll hit the higher voltage, which is 38. And also that gives us a lot more energy for trying to heat some water up. So I'll go take the brake off and it should start a whizzing. This will be the first time I'll have seen it spin this fast if it goes substantially faster than when it's running at 25, 28 volts. It seems to be really smashing round, so let's go see if it's getting anything on the meter. This is very good to see. Yeah, the gander. <clears throat> it's weird. Certainly at this moment in time, the faster it goes, the smoother and almost more quiet it seems to be. So just, whoa, nearly 500. So just a reminder that we don't actually have the cheapo NAF uh, Chinese controller connected. So we may... What I'm going to do now, let's get this dump load on. Whoa, it's gone straight up to 200 watts already. Right, so it's on 20% of the dump load. I'll just show you how much more juice it, it uh, can put to the dump load. So, right, that's three. We're already at 179 watts. Uh, leave it on that for a minute. Don't want to let the power drop below 36, but I'm quite happy to run with it. In. Hopefully we get a nice gust in the turbine and start smashing the juice in again. So again, this is what we're drawing on the dump load here, like 175 watts. Come on the wind. Oh, there's a the gust. Remember it is having to go extremely fast to hit 38 volts. You'll notice very interestingly, I do believe that when the voltage of the battery system increases then you'll get a slight increase in the wattage here only a sort of 10 watts maybe difference but obviously the battery's voltage is dropping because the dump loads are using the electricity
Interesting to see if we can hit 10 amps in that this mode. I think that'll be quite a success. So I'm getting really annoyed with this Google Pixel Pro 6. It just hit 750 watts and my camera was overheating so it didn't catch it. But we shall see. Uh, the dump load's still drawing 173 watts. Battery voltage 37.3. So I'm just going to start recording when we get a nice gust strike. Here's a gust. And then we'll recall that for a bit so if we can get back over 39, which is 13 volts per cell. I had to go put my camera in the freezer, uh, my phone, sorry, so if it gets a bit of mist on the lens, sorry about that. Let's just go and see what the meter's doing. Oh, there's a gust, there's a gust. 